I always say that all of the textures, the, the content, the flowers, the colors, the rhythms of the show, especially a show that is devised collaboratively, come from all of those who participate. It is not the same as past devised processes because we're all coming out of post-pandemic. In some ways, it's opened the doors even wider. We share actually very personal things easily and very openly and honestly and with a lot of generosity because we have not had the opportunity to do that. We've gone out into the world and we've explored objects like shells and branches that come from the natural world. They bring out stories in us and that's a lot of what we've been exploring between us and the things that we see while we're on our walks and the things that we bring into the room. So I think it's about connection. It's sure about connection. It's about allowing everyone to have an opportunity to share their experiences and to tell their own stories. Even my assistant's dog has had a role in all the rehearsal. We have such a, an infinite mosaic of people. Bringing those all together, you're going to get a bouquet like you've never seen before, and that in itself is going to be very magnetic. Initially, I felt really out of place. The time went on. I grew to know everybody in the group and to be able to share. It's been very exciting, kind of floating in the unknown. And I think that's one of the most exciting things about being here. And I also really love all the people that I'm working with. I thought my theater career was over when I ended up in a wheelchair. I can see now that I still have something to offer and that I can work with a whole bunch of people who also have something to offer. Look up Zoetic, Z-O-E-T-I-C. Look it up on the Vancouver Fringe. First show, September 9th, 6 o'clock, the 10th and 11th, matinees at 2 p.m. And then the next weekend after that, Friday at 6, Saturday and Sunday at 2 p.m.